as part of the quarterly update. Thank you. <clears throat> Council, do you, uh, does, do people have questions um, for our Director of Finance on the third quarter budget update? There's no requirements for us to make any amendments to the financial plan at this time. I had one question, but it was already answered by the city manager earlier. It was about the construction projects and the tendering. So, okay. Seeing no questions, this is uh, what happens when we get very detailed written reports. Uh, we do have a motion uh, required to receive this report for information. Thanks. Moved by Councillor Coleman, seconded by Councillor Loveday. All those in favour? Any opposed? Thank you. Great work. We move on to item number four. Oh, we should have maybe adopted this by consent agenda. Anyways, it's a regulations for marijuana-related businesses. I'll invite Mr. Coates to the table in case we have any questions. It's extraordinarily straightforward. Um, Mr. Coates, is there anything you want to tell us that's not in your short report here? Go ahead. Uh, Mayor Helps, members of Council, just a brief report before Council advising that staff's work is not yet complete. Uh, understandably, this is a complex issue with many considerations as well as a best practices analysis. Um, having just joined the city, I'm just coming up to speed on these issues myself now. Um, I just want to ensure that Council has a complete report that provides all the necessary details uh, to inform Council's decision making. And in view of all of this, uh, more time is required and we expect to be bringing the report forward at the November 19th GPC meeting. Okay, thank you, Mr. Coates. Uh, this matter is before us later uh, as a Council motion, but at this time, are there any questions for Mr. Coates? Yes, uh, Councillor Young. Well, I, I guess I'm just, uh, with, given the council motion, should that uh, pass, presumably we would be putting work on this on hold. Correct. Until, That's the intention of the so, council motion. So just from what Mr. Coates just said, it sounds as if the staff is continuing to work on the issue. So I just, I guess I'm just not quite clear on whether it's going to be shelved for a while or not. If our motion passes, it will be shelved. So that's up to us. But he, in the meantime, was asked to bring a report. Yes, uh, Councillor Thornton, Joe, Councillor Loveday. I was just going to say, uh, just so that since it's all dependent on the following motion, I'd be happy to put this motion on the table uh, right now, which is, oh, is there more to receive the report? Sure, move to receive the report. Second, any discussion? Yes, Councillor Loveday. Yeah, I, I'm just curious if the... If there's any correlation between receiving this sort of update report and not the other one not being ready and the fact that we have a council report coming at the same time. And Mr. Johnson? No, we had indicated earlier when council had given us this direction um, that we would be bringing a report at this meeting. So this was just to clearly provide council the indication that work hadn't been completed and that it was being deferred. And this was based on council's previous direction to staff. Thank you. Further discussion? Okay, thank you. All those in favor of receiving the report for information? Any opposed? Thank you. Next uh, update on the stormwater utility implementation and proposed bylaw amendments uh, in response to public consultation. Welcome. If you could introduce yourselves to members of the public and walk us through your presentation and thanks for providing your PowerPoint to us uh, through mayor helps uh, my name is Fraser work director of engineering I'd like to introduce Brianne Sapia who will be walking us through her presentation today as the stormwater specialist and the assistant director of engineering public works Jazz Paul Great. thank you welcome team 